Hello and welcome everyone. This is meant to be a fairly brief update to the uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey sleeper build. Uh, if you are not familiar with this build and haven't seen the video, I have posted a link in the description. There's also going to be a link uh, at the end of this video. So I do recommend checking that out, uh, perhaps even before watching this video. So, um, kind of embarrassingly, it was pointed out that the CPU fan on this computer that I am so proud of uh, and uh, has a lot of uh, custom work on it was actually backwards. And, um, you know, I even, I even felt for airflow and everything on this uh, Be Quiet uh, fan, and I didn't really feel anything. And it turns out that uh, there's actually very little airflow that that fan pushes through, which is perhaps one of the reasons why it's it's so quiet. Uh, but I did I did turn it over, and uh, and I think this did help. So um, the overall difference here, after all the cable management that I at least attempted to do uh, this time around, as well as flipping the fan over on the CPU. And it should be right side up now. Uh, I've gotten about a five degree uh, Celsius drop in uh, CPU temperatures, which is significant. I mean, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm quite happy with that. So I'm usually idling around maybe 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, something like that. And given the fact that you know this this case wasn't at all built for airflow, uh, I think a lot of progress has been made. Uh, of course, it was, you know, if you didn't watch that original video, I talked a lot about um, the modifi modifications I made uh, to improve the airflow. And uh, one of the one, one of the things that I did <clears throat> that I had to do, in fact, is replace the whole back panel uh, because this was an AT style case and you can't put an ATX motherboard in an AT uh, style case. So this, this whole part of the back actually was cut out and then replaced by a modern uh, rear end, basically, of an ATX case. And so I was able to mount, I believe that's an 80 millimeter fan back here, help push air out. There's a little bit of uh, vent airflow that can come out back here. And uh, in the front, there's the uh, 120 millimeter fan, which blows air uh, primarily across the uh, my GTX 1080 graphics card and helps to keep that a little bit cooler uh, as well as the other components. Um, one of the issues, and I'll show a little video clip here that I had originally, uh, is that I just had uh, so many wires uh, uh, hanging down here that it was definitely blocking airflow. Now I've still got a couple in the way here, but it isn't nearly as bad as it was uh, previously, I think that should be pretty pretty clear um, that I had you know this main power cord uh, just kind of dangling down here in the front. I had SATA cables kind of all over the place, but um, I've managed to tuck away a lot of those. I ran the main power line backwards and then down, which helps keep it out of the way the the uh, airflow and. Uh, yeah, I did whatever I could just to get those wires out of the way so it doesn't impede the flow of air. There really isn't much I can do here with the USB 3. I mean, there's really, there's really limited options as far as how to route that through because you can't really go back uh, through the back here because uh, just, just the way it comes off the motherboard. And then, you know, the power cord to the to the GPU here, uh, I'm not sure what else I can do about that, but I pretty much got everything else out of the way. And uh, now the, the AT case, as I've mentioned many times, is not built for cable management. I mean, it really wasn't an issue then because airflow really wasn't much of an issue. However, there, there were places where I could actually run cables through uh, the side and, and get them out of the way. And so these are kind of these mountain, mounting brackets for what, what would, would be an especially large motherboard, but these would help hold them in place. You'd have a little plastic bracket that would attach to this steel panel here and then attach to the motherboard. And so I was able to run one uh, SATA cable each 
through each one of these two and then bring them up back that way um, to the hard drive and uh, and uh, connect them without going through the front. So, you know, modern cases are, are built with this in mind and keep a lot of the cables back and away from the interior of the case, but the, you know, AT style cases built a quarter of a century ago weren't really thinking about that at all. But that doesn't mean you can't use these holes, you know, for that purpose. So I was looking at it and realized that I could actually just use those holes for that and get those out of the way. So I think the end result is that overall airflow has improved quite a lot. And there's no doubt that having the CPU cooler uh, situated the right way um, has also helped with that. So I, you know, I, I owe a, a bit of gratitude to all of you that uh, that stuck it out and kept telling me that it was facing the wrong direction. I was like, no, it's not. But uh, and indeed it was. And uh, I just I keep thinking about it. And I went back and looked at some of my other computers and uh, they're all facing the right way. Uh, and um, I don't I don't know what happened here that I got so mixed up and backwards. Maybe it was partly because there's so many cables in the way and everything. But uh, yeah, I do appreciate you all pointing that out. So, okay, guys, I think that wraps it up. This is just going to be a little brief update. And uh, if there's anything else with this case, there, there's not a whole lot more to do. I, I would like to connect the uh, turbo button to maybe some LED uh, lights or something like that. But uh, I never meant this to be uh, all that flashy or anything like that. But maybe some uh, underside lights or something like that I could add uh, in the future here and uh, do a little update video on that. So uh, please do take a look at the other video if you haven't already, um, which gives a much more complete overview of this build and what I was kind of attempting to achieve uh, with recreating in my own interpretive way, uh, the how light down there. And, uh, you know, in that video, you can see that working and so forth. So, all right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.